Good afternoon and welcome back to the workbench. Um, today I'm just doing a little quick video on this uh, LED tester that I bought um, as part of uh, repairing a television or trying to repair a television. Uh, I bought this tester because I'm at a point where I don't know if there's a problem with the backlights or if there's some problem with the drive circuitry um, and I figured I'd get one of these and hopefully that'll tell me something useful. So I got this one from AliExpress. It was one of the cheapest ones you could get. I think it was only $20. Um, there may have been a cheaper one, but I, I didn't think it was as, it looked as good, so I got this one here. Uh, there were other ones going up to like $70, which had some extra features, but I figured I didn't really need it. This one seemed to do pretty much everything. So it's got a, uh, a mains cord coming in here. It's got a little voltage display to tell you what the output voltage is for the LED you're testing. Um, and then we got a switch on it, and we got the uh, sockets here for the probes to test your LEDs. And it came with probes. It came with... Um, with these ones here, um, they have nice covers on the end. Actually, don't seem to be too bad. Um, these pull off. Yeah, they pull off like that, and um, they're quite pointy and pretty good. So they seem to be quite nice. I don't know what model these are or uh, where you'd get them, but I, I'm sure they're not hard to find on eBay or something if you wanted them. But anyway, yeah. So those plug into there, and that does that. We'll test it in a minute. But I just wanted to. I'm not going to do a review of it, but just do a sort of a quick test and have a look inside to see if it was relatively safe. Uh, I did see someone on the... I mean, mo most people posted good feedback about this. Um, there was one person that said when they opened it, it didn't work, and they opened it, and it turned out the switch, the one of the wires had fallen off or something. So, you know, I just want to make sure there's nothing like that going on before I plug it in. Um, you know, it wouldn't be good if one of the mains wires broke off during shipping and then we plug this in and it's got, you know, 240 volts live directly on the circuit board somewhere it shouldn't go um, and the thing gets destroyed. I mean, I don't I don't hear anything rattling around if I shake it, but yeah, I just want to make sure. But anyway, you can see the model there. It's the uh, WM9. Uh, I'm sure I'll pronounce this really badly, but um, it's the Kunshan Wang Yatan Electronic Co. Limited. Wang Etian WM9 Multifunctional Intact Smart LED Tester and I think they mean by intact that uh, it won't destroy your LED um, it automatically adjusts the voltage to make sure it doesn't um, burn anything so um, yeah apparently quite good it does say double isolation to ensure safety but I I'm not sure about that we'll find out when I open it anyway <laughs> so let's have a look um, I, I did see some teardowns of these online and other various things, and I, I'm not sure if all of them were actually fully isolated or anything. So, yeah, I just want to see how this goes. Um, I, I'm expecting a bunch of epoxy all over the board, so that you can't see the design. <laughs> Anyway, but let's have a look. Oh no, I was wrong. There's no epoxy anywhere. Um, that's interesting. So anyway, we've got um, we've got a fairly nice little board here. <laughs> we've got a capacitor on the side there that looks like it's soldered underneath, and then it comes up through the top. Uh, I don't know what the point of that is. Maybe they um, didn't have room for the, uh, well, maybe it was cheaper to buy two in a smaller capacity and just put them in uh, put them in like that. Um, yeah. So the switch looks alright. Um, everything looks fine. <laughs> the power cord is blue and red, which I'm not sure if that's a uh, standard color code for any country whatsoever. Um, maybe it is for China, but I don't know. Um, it seems to fit round in there. It looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm surprised not to see epoxy all over it, actually. Um, which is kind of nice, although I guess the uh, the whole thing's done by a microcontroller down here, so if that blows, then it's kind of irrelevant. Um, 
Yeah, we got something here. It might be a transformer. It's got a bunch of pins on it. Um, some diodes. Um, yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, not sure. That screwdriver is too small. Hmm. I'll just try taking it out of the case and see what's on the underside. Maybe that's where the epoxy is. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it could just be a. Let's see, can we get this out? Yep. Oh no, there's really nothing on the other side. <laughs> That's an interesting, uh, interesting silk screen there. Jest and Nancy, apparently. <laughs> Are those the names of the people who made it? I don't know. The box is Jest and as well. Um, possibly, possibly it's a reference to the type of box it's designed to fit in. Um, hmm. What is interesting? Have you ever Apparently a telephone number. I guess that's something in China somewhere. Um, it does look like there's a transformer there, which is quite fascinating. I'd have to try and draw that up to just make sense of it. But um, yeah, we we uh, I don't know how they're controlling the voltage. I guess we've got a coil here, maybe some kind of boost circuit. And then maybe like a little SMPS here. Um, so maybe it is isolated with this transformer. It is possible, but I, I don't believe the claim of double isolation. Um, I don't think that's true. It says on the front there, double isolation. That's probably not correct. Um, but still, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's better than I expected. I, I thought there was just going to be some kind of... Um, buck regulator going straight from the mains possibly, which is one way you could do something like this. Um, but that's good, so that, that's uh, that's better than I, I thought it would be. Um, so I'm uh, not too worried about the the safety of this. Um, the quality looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's even even got a few fuse there, main input fuse, um, which is good. Um, it's marked 1 amp, so that makes sense. Um, would have been better to use a proper uh, larger one, I guess, but yeah, I guess it would work if everything went really bad. Anyway, um, I guess I'll put this back together and, and give it a test. Um, yeah, how'd that go? That just sits in there. Got the. Uh, I'll get that display through the hole. There we go. Yeah, overall I would say that's a, that's a pretty nice design. Um, everything fits together pretty well. Um, let's see, that can probably go that way. <laughs> that capacitor on the side there is kind of funny, but um, it obviously works. So, yeah, okay. There's nothing, uh, nothing obviously untoward there. Now, um, I don't believe that was possible to buy this with a Australia or New Zealand plug on it. I think the only options were US or Europe, maybe UK as well. I'm not sure, but definitely not mine. So I'll use an adapter to plug it in. Um, but if, it, if it's good enough and I use it a lot, I guess I'll probably cut the plug off and put a proper one on. Um, but yeah, I've just got this old adapter here that I'll use for testing it with. Um, would, it would actually be nice to get a decent uh, New Zealand plug on here anyway, so I can get the polarity correct and I suppose make sure that the switch is switching live and not the uh, neutral. Just, you know, it's just better that way. So Anyway, let's plug this in and see what happens. Well, it doesn't immediately explode, but that's probably because it's not switched on. Let's switch it on and see if it explodes. <laughs> okay. 
So it's uh, boosting up to 300 volts, which is the maximum voltage it can test, apparently. Um, so yeah, if you connect it to an LED, it's supposed to ramp up, go down to like 3 volts, and then ramp up slowly until it uh, starts conducting and you get uh, some current going across. Um, so I guess I'll try and find an LED to connect it with and test it out. Um, I don't know if I have anything suitable lying around. I wonder if it would work with just a standard 5mm LED. Um, I suppose I can try it and see what happens. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Wow, those look uh <laughs> I've got some LEDs here, but the leads are very tarnished. Uh I don't know if this will actually work. But I think they uh this one seems good enough at the top there. I guess I might as well try that and see what happens. I'll just turn it off uh, for a second there. I can plug these leads in. Um, see how it goes. Hmm. Don't try and turn those while they're in the socket. It sort of tries to rip the socket out of the case. They're quite tight. Yeah. Probably best to not do any adjustment like that. I forget the minimum voltage this was supposed to go down to. I think it was like 3 volts, so this might not be the best idea, but we'll find out. Um, so we get that on there, I suppose. Um, switch it back on again, just for fun. Oh, there we go. It lights the LED and it goes down to 2 volts, 2.3, which would make sense. Whoops. So that's uh, that's pretty cool, actually. I don't know what current this is. I think it was 15 milliamps or something. Oh yeah, that, uh, that does work, 2.2 .2 volts. Okay, that's quite fun. Um, I'll try one of these other ones and see if that works. Which way around does it go? There we go. Apparently... Yeah. 2.1. Apparently you won't get a shock off these if you touch the probes, but I wouldn't try it and find out, so... As with any sort of testing apparatus, it is probably best to err on the side of caution and don't stick your fingers in it if you don't have to. Yeah, it's quite interesting how it, the open circuit voltage is apparently 300 volts, and yet as soon as I connect it to the LED, it ramps up. So it certainly responds quickly and seems to work quite well. Um, yeah, it's quite good. Um, hmm. That, that's, uh, that's quite good. So now I can um, verify that, that seems to work. Uh, I can test out my backlights on this TV and, and see, uh, hopefully it tells me something about whether or not uh, it's the backlights that are the problem or the uh, drive circuitry. I don't know at this point which one it is. Um, it could be either. I have uh, I have suspicions and doubts on both sides, so <laughs> I don't know really what's going on. Um, but I will try that uh, And we'll try that and find out. Hopefully I'll learn something useful. Alright. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that was interesting. Hopefully that was useful. And I'll see you next time.